my dear viewers, welcome once again to this online class. In today's class, we are going to solve this exponential equation. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the 1 over 25 in the brackets here to an index form. So, in that case, I'm going to have 5 raised to power x into brackets x minus 6. Now, this side, I'm going to have in the brackets 1 all over 5 raised to power 2 raised to power 4. This 25 has changed to 5 raised to power 2. Then I'm going to have 5 raised to power x into brackets x minus 6 equals to now 1 all over 5 raised to power 2 in indices simply means 5 raised to power minus 2. Yes. So we have changed this 1 over 5 raised to power 2 to negative index this form and it has changed to 5 raised to power minus 2. So in that case, I cannot say Let's multiply the powers. So I'm going to have x times x, x squared. x times minus 6. I'm going to have a minus 6x equals to 5 raised to the power minus 2 times 4. I'm going to have minus 8. So since the base are the same, I'm going to cancel them out. Then I'll be left with x squared minus 6x equals to minus 8. All right. Now the next thing to do is to bring this minus 8 here so that we can have a quadratic equation. So I'm going to have x squared minus 6x. Then when minus 8 moves, it becomes plus 8 equals to 0. So we are, we are going to solve this using factorization method. In order to do that, I'm going to look for the factors of 8. The factors of 8 that I'm going to use, I'm going to consider 2 and 4. 2 and 4. But don't forget, we have minus 6 here. So, when I multiply it, I must have plus 8. When I add it together, I must have minus 6. So, in that case, I'm going to use minus 2 and minus 4. Minus 2 times minus 4 will give me plus 8. And minus 2 plus minus 4 will give me minus 6. So, I'm going to replace this. I'm going to replace the minus 6 with minus 2x minus 4x. So, let's do that. x squared minus 2x minus 4x plus 8 equals to 0. So the next thing to do now is to factorize. So let's factor out here. x will come outside. So I'm going to have x minus 2. Don't forget, whatever you have here must give you this back. So x times x, x squared. x times minus 2, minus 2x. Let's factor this also. So what is common here? 4. So in that case, I'm going to have minus 4 outside the bracket. Then in the bracket, I'm going to have x minus 2. So equals to 0. Let's test this. Minus 4 times x minus 4x minus 4 times minus 2 plus 8. So this is perfect. So in that case, I cannot proceed by saying x minus 4, x minus 2 equals to 0. Then, in order to get our answer, I will, I will now have x minus 4 equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals to 0. So I'm going to have x equals to y minus 4 moves zero is going to be called 0 plus 4. So I'm going to have x equals to 4 or when minus 2 moves here, it's going to become 0 plus 2. So I'm going to have x equals to 2. So our final answer is s equals to 4 or s equals to 2. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Mass Made Easy with Tony And also like and follow me on Facebook and TikTok at Mass Made Easy with Tony Thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next video.